number one, we need to reverse our understanding of primitivity and sophistication because a lot of the reason why a lot of indigenous peoples have assimilated is because we have bought into the idea that we are primitive as as we are as in our tribal uh, state, I guess you could say, um, and that the Western way is sophisticated and advanced. Nothing is further from the truth. Think about it. In the Western world, you live in houses, I'm in one right now, that is full of carcinogenic materials. There's really nothing more primitive than living in something that kills you. Uh, furthermore, we are also uh, in this primitive Western society completely dependent on monocrop agriculture which is about the stupidest kind of agriculture you could possibly do. No offense, but it's just stupid because you have a very narrow genetic pool, which is incredibly susceptible to disease. And we keep trying to overcome these pests and pesticides and outbeat them and out genetically modify them, but we're running out of bullets and we are asking for a food shortage. Um, nothing is more primitive than this food system we are dependent on. And all of it is being decided for us by a handful of corporations. Um, what's another primitive thing? Well, the fact that we are constantly medicating people with things that make them more sick and that we have completely forgotten that our bodies are designed to hold the sacred great spirit to heal others. We have completely lost touch with our inherent healing abilities through song, through prayer, and through holding spirit within us for others. And so nothing is more primitive than a healthcare system that perpetually keeps its population in a, in a state of unhealth. It's incredibly short-sighted and primitive. And the fourth major primitive thing is that we have completely forgotten about long-term thinking. We are so primitive that we are about to shoot ourselves in the foot. We have basically poisoned our own pond that we live in. And so our, our, our species, if you will, as a Western uh, organism is on its way out the door very quickly. Now let's go to the advanced um, topic of our indigenous technology. And lately I've been spelling technology T-E-K, traditional ecological knowledge technology. Um, that this technology is so advanced and every single colonizer worked very hard to downplay how sophisticated these tribes were because their colonization and destruction of these peoples depended on the justification that they were savage, right? So anything sophisticated, anything advanced, you want to destroy as quickly as possible, like the libraries full of codices in the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. Anything that's advanced, you want to get out of the way or the fact that we actually had hundreds of thousands of horses in this continent at the point of Columbus's arrival, but horses were deemed as things of civilization. So the Spanish said, oh no, no, we brought all these horses. That's how you got horses. So it's very important to understand that to reclaim our indigeneity is not to go back in the past or to limp. That's why I don't like about the primitive skills um gatherings which are really cool i totally get the the idea of it but to call these skills primitive is just a little bit misunderstanding the point which is that to be able to live in harmony and to hear the voices of nature doesn't mean you have to give up sanitation it doesn't mean you have to give up 
a nice place to live. Our civilizations had beautiful and still have beautiful architecture that is made out of 100% natural materials that keeps it warm in the winter and cold in the summer. And so you don't have to give up anything to, to re-indigenize yourself. And that goes for traditional European indigenous knowledge too, which was destroyed. So anyways, long story short, I think that that's a big myth that we have to debunk ASAP, is this idea that indigenous peoples were primitive and Western society is advanced. It's actually the complete opposite. 